went to get concrete bolts for these awnings. I finally got one up last weekend or went to put it up. I figured I had a bunch of plywood behind my uh, stucco. Ended up with an inch and a half of stucco and eight inches of air behind it before I hit the brick. So I went and checked on concrete bolts, man. Shit, I think I ended up with 14 inches was the longest they had. Half inch. 33 bucks per bolt to get them that long. And I just started calculating the numbers. It's like, God damn, that's $990 for 28 bolts for this damn awning install. And I thought about it for a minute and was like, piss on it. And I just kept the five and a half inch bolts that I had. Went and got some grade eight all thread. Left the end to start the nut on, hanging over the angle in case it arced down there. I mean, I can still get a nut on and stuff. I just cut the length that I needed. They're about 17 overall. Just welded the damn things on. Ground it down a little bit to where the weld's a little smaller than the threads. That way it'll slip through the hole, no problem. Still has a regular concrete bell on it, so it's still gonna grab the concrete like it's supposed to. So, girlfriend was like, damn, we didn't figure out a grand for bolts. She was like, we're not paying a grand for bolts. I won't do it, man, that's just nuts. So if this will work out fine, I'll just make them all, and these are just normal bolts here, probably 30 bucks for a box of 50 or something. So, and I always grill and glue my holes, especially up here, you know, along the front range and stuff, and snow and water and rain, and <clears throat> put some Gorilla glue in the holes, and it keeps the water out. And that way, come winter time, the water don't get in there, freeze, bust up the concrete, now your bolts loose. So I always, con you know, Gorilla glue them. If you're doing a struck something structural with an engineer, they got special stuff that you got to use. Uh, I don't see that offhand. Must be in the truck, but I've I've gotten several handrail jobs just because of that right there. People ask me how I was going to do it, and it's like, yeah, and then I'll, I'll you know I'll Gorilla glue all the bolts in, keep the water out so they last longer and stuff. I got concrete bolts that are 30, 35 years old, still haven't came loose holes full of Gorilla Glue, man, so just something a little extra that I always do, and then I always make sure and primer any, you know, like the bottoms of my plates and stuff, nothing looks worse than a bunch of brown ass rust running down, you know, somebody's curb or something from the, the rust on your bottom of your plates, but yeah, if you're in a bind for some concrete bolts, man, just get some shorter ones and get some grade 8 all thread and Weld the damn things on. Literally, this was 990 bucks for 28 bolts, and I'll have maybe 50 bucks into it this way. So, just passing that on. Everybody be safe.